Hey guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's video, Julie will be reviewing the Bliss Kiss Simply Neat Manicure Mat. This product is supposed to help simplify the nail art process, easily create custom nail decals, make stamping easier, and more. So let's try it out. Hey guys, it's Julie. Now let's get into the video. So let's take a look at the product we'll be trying today. Reading straight off the Amazon page, this product simplifies nail art and makes it accessible for everybody. The mat has create and contain circles that hold beads, rhinestone, charms, water, and paint. It has a nail sizing grid for custom decal sizing. It also has a stamping surface with black and white zones to test design styles, spacing, quality, and color of polishes. It also claims to have very easy cleanup and can be used to protect your work surface. This mat is made of USD food grade silicone and is only $10 on Amazon Prime. Okay, so I know I want to do sort of a summery tropical design and I know I want to use images from this plate. So first I'm gonna try out the stamping practice zone. I'll be using the MoU London tropical plate number 29 and I'll be testing out two polishes and how they perform on the stamping plate. First, I'm starting with a mossy green polish and I'm applying that to one of the tropical leaf stamp designs. For each color, I stamped the image into the black and white zones to see how the color payoff would be over a light and dark base. Over the white, this mossy green showed up pretty good, but let's see how it is over the dark. Okay, also not too bad, but in person it did have a little translucency. So now I'm gonna clean up and just wipe away the stamp in the black box because I know I won't be using it over black and the image removed perfectly with zero traces of polish and no stains. Now I'm gonna try this teal green shade the same way. So this teal polish looks pretty good on white and also good on dark, but again, in person, it was a little more transparent over the black square. So that means I should probably use a lighter base if I wanna work with these colors. Here's a little trick for cleaning up polish off of this mat without using nail polish remover. Just pull off a piece of tape and roll it over the image you wanna pick up and bam, it's gone. I've also seen some people use a lint roller to remove images off of silicone mats, which makes cleanup even easier. You can also test the quality and pigment of polishes over these black and white squares. Here's a yellow polish, which looks very opaque in the bottle and over the white square, but when applied over the black square, you can see it's not as opaque and would need a couple layers or be applied over a white base coat. You can also test the opacity of glitter polishes. What I think makes this mat different from others are these super cool contain and create circles at the top. You can use them to hold rhinestones or studs and even those super tiny caviar beads that roll all over the place. This will keep those all in one spot for easy access. You can also use the circles to test polishes. Here I'm gonna swatch each color I want to use for a design to see how they all look together. The website says you can also fill these with water or paint and I can also see them being used useful for making drag marble prints. Okay, so let's make some decals. Under the finger portion of the mat are several squares with guidelines to make the right decal size for your nail. You can just line your nail up on or beside the square to get an idea of how big or small you need to make your decal. There is also a separate spot for your thumb and pinky that are a little bit bigger and smaller. So the instructions on the mat say to start by applying a generous layer of top coat onto the decal squares first. The mat will actually bubble up when wet polish is applied to it and it'll flatten out again once it's dry so you know when it's ready. I also wanted to try making decals without applying top coat first to see if it makes a difference. So for the top row, I'll be going straight in with my base colors. And once the squares that I applied a top coat first dried, I applied my base colors over top of those. Next, I'm gonna use a little pineapple image from another MoU plate, and I'll be rolling that onto one of the decal squares. The great thing about making decals is that you don't have to have a steady hand or risk messing up an entire nail and starting over if you use this mat. You can literally make all of the designs right in front of you and design them however you like. If I was doing this straight onto my nails, I would have to make sure everything was perfectly lined up and once it was on, it's on. 
With the mat, everything is straight and the guidelines will help you keep the images lined up even. And if you do mess up, you can just try again on another square. No need to risk messing up your nails by removing mistakes. Here I'm using the leaf prints that we tested earlier and I'm placing them in different spots on the decal squares. If the overlapping is bugging you, you can use a Q-tip to remove the extra stamped image so you get a better idea of how the decal will look. Once the decals are dry and the mat is flat, you can use some tweezers to carefully loosen a corner and then you should be able to just peel off the decal. Now I'm going to see if the top coat first was necessary and yeah, it's necessary. It looks like doing just nail polish alone is too thin and the image won't peel smoothly. Another way you can make decals is to skip the color polish and just use top coat to make a clear decal with a design. This is my preferred way of making decals and how I'll be doing my look today. So I'm moving over to the other side of the mat and I'm starting by applying top coat into the squares. This time we're going to do a reverse stamping technique which means the front of the decal is going to be at the bottom and we're going to work backwards. Again, I'm using this pineapple image and just rolling it onto the square. Then I'm going to pop a little bit of yellow polish into one of the contain and create circles and use a brush to fill in the pineapple. You can also just straight freehand designs onto this, like if a stamp design messes up a bit or if you just want to make a design for your dominant hand and you can't freehand it, this would be a great way to do that. And again, you'll know your decal is ready when the mat is flat and you're able to wiggle up the decal with some tweezers. To apply the decals, start with your base color and do as many coats as you need to get it opaque. Next, apply a top coat. Once the top coat is tacky, mostly dry but still a little tacky, lay the decal onto the nail and press it down. If it starts to roll up or is just too dry, use some nail polish remover and dot it around the decal to saturate it and get it to stick. You can use a wooden stick to press down the corners and you can trim off the excess with scissors, then secure the edges with more nail polish remover on an angled brush. Finish with a generous layer of top coat to seal it in and that's it. I decided to add a couple gold decor pieces to this mani, which was very easy with the help of the little contain and create circles. The mat says you can actually put nail glue onto it, but you have to remove it while it's still wet. And when you're done with your manicure, cleanup is a breeze. And here is the finished design. I think this mat is absolutely amazing and for only $10, you can't beat it. It's super high quality and it's great for both beginners and advanced nail artists. 
If you'd like to watch more Cute Polish videos, you can click on these boxes here and click on the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. If you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, you can click on the circle here.